Hello, I'm Xiao Wu, and sorry for my poor English. Hi, everyone. Um, I want to introduce a um, history about Taiwan. And, okay, a serious thing um, is Taiwan and its distribution about indigenous people in Taiwan in the past. And, but, but it's similar to where they live living now. Okay, and they are. Uh, 23 million people in Taiwan and our people, indigenous people, are only about 2%. The most in indigenous people is a mixed group. It's about 20,000 people. Yeah, 20,000 people. And, and most, uh, and this one, um, is Kana Kana group. It's about three, uh, 355 people. So, so our, our country is, is disappeared. And beside our country, our ceremony and habit of living in the past and our land are disappeared too. Till this day, we began always the importance of pre preserving our culture and memory is in the past. And how does it happen? Why why culture is disappeared? So the following I will show you the history. Okay. Um, before Han people lived in Taiwan, Taiwan was shown up in in the world is in seven a sixteenth sixteenth century that Portuguese were selling pests by Taiwan and said, Well, uh, uh, Formosa is in mean beautiful land. But, but the people who actually stay in and got political power are unleashed. unleashed yeah. Crucial time in, is in a Japanese rule and our city Chinese <coughs> government rule, they have similar policy in like like this. It's it's about not not to say local language policy and it brought about a gap between elders and teenagers. The gap is is my father's um, generation. He experienced this, and I think most pe most people in Taiwan experience this at that time. So it becomes a problem to pass on the language and the culture when 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 we when we want to fix it, and we got power like like this. Um, we pre preserve the language culture by decolonize in in online and in, it seems seems like this and try and say kana ilang swa ni lupu malu ang hok ya ko tang ya ko tang ya ko alam to ka this is our language in Tai Taiwan's native language and it it mean Greeting, fellow sister and brothers. My name is Stan Hyako, my na native name, and I'm from Dota Trip in Galicia. But but when we when we tap on the on the on the on life, it is most like this. So many red red light under the world because it. It treat um, the system treat it to be one word thing they should be correct, okay? So so it's it's, it's our project about the typing system, yeah. So they they continue introducing. So uh, yeah, technology marginalizes indigenous people. Uh, not just about 
about the uh, document system. It's about online translation. It's about uh, the lack of electronic resources. And uh, uh, in the past, we, we didn't have any any sort of uh, mobile keyboard. Uh, now we, we do have one for our needs, uh, but uh, we still don't have a, a keyboard for the others 15 recognized as in groups, not for those unrecognized people, and for dozens of dialects of languages. So. Uh, the government passed the National Languages Development Act, and it says uh, all national languages are equal, including indigenous languages, including Taiwanese, and residents should not be discriminated or be limited when using national languages. And, but in reality, we, we are, we are uh, dis discriminated, we are limited. And uh, also, the, the uh, law includes um, Official documents in indigenous languages policy. So it means that you can, when you make announcements, when you can test. I just stick this thing. Yes, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, when, when you make announcements in indigenous area, you you should uh, use both uh, Chinese and and their indigenous language. But uh, uh, they are suffering. A lot because uh, most public servants they they are not that used to indigenous languages and uh, they uh, just like uh, our OBF policy although we have a quite advanced OBF uh, policy in Taiwan but uh, some some workers in public sectors they are still uh, trying to uh, adapt themselves to to use OBF to use technologies so we were thinking about building. Infrastructure for indigenous languages, and it's it's not that hard, uh, but uh, like Microsoft, it does does not support it at all. And uh, so we we turned to LibreOffice because uh, for for LibreOffice we have a powerful platform and a wonderful community helping us, and uh, and we have a full procedure for like uh, localization. To make a built-in dictionary, we have uh, autocorrect, etc. And so we, it's, it's not that hard. We just need to follow the procedure and and make a dictionary for indigenous languages. Then uh, we can just keep going and try to uh, translate the user interface. But uh, our priority is to make a uh, autocorrect. Most people, most indigenous people there, they are like really good user at Chinese uh, since the history he mentioned about. So we are not that eager to, to translate the user interface. Uh, but uh, we do have to uh, kill those red lines. Yeah, that those are really annoying and they are not helpful at all. And we need some real-time timing suggestion. I'll tell you why we do. And, uh, and then this can be a shared database for indigenous languages across the uh, free and open source software. Because, um, like uh, mobile keyboards, like other softwares, it, it, can, it can use similar data database. And we don't, we don't want uh, other people to do it from scratch again. And last but not least, it's free and open. It's very important. So the benefits of the project, uh, for some fluent speakers, they are mostly 14 or, or 40 or more, because uh, young people are taking a Chinese education at school. So this, uh, these people, they can use this platform to enhance their type abilities, because uh, in the past, they, they are used to uh, speak, not type. They, they didn't uh, have a chance to, to write their own languages because uh, the whole language uh, writing system is, is also new. And so when they try to type, uh, 
without uh, more without mistakes. Because uh, now when you type, you don't uh, have anyone to correct it for you, so you often make mistakes. Uh, after the mistakes are reduced, uh, it will help digitalize uh, indigenous literatures uh, and uh, reduce tech barriers because we still have a, a little population who are more used to indigenous languages than Chinese. So, uh, also for language learners, because we have uh, digitalized those literatures uh, by, by the elderly, by the people more in the 40s, uh, so, so we get more learning materials for, for language learners like Xiao Wu. And, and they can get high, higher interest in inputting in indigenous languages. Imagine, uh, imagine when you use uh, WhatsApp or, or other messaging app, uh, most people, including indigenous people, we will always use, we will always use Chinese. So, so this can be a, like, uh, it can be funner to, to type in their own languages. And for government workers, because uh, like I mentioned before, we have an ODF policy as well as a, uh, official documents in indigenous languages policy. So we combine the two and uh, we hope to reduce uh, the, the workers in, in public, public sectors. They can, uh, they can reduce some work time by uh, doing, doing the both and because uh, it yeah they help each other we, we hope so and uh, for indigenous community communities we try to revitalize and demarginalize the dying languages and uh, as for the labor of its community because uh, in at least in Taiwan we have a problem uh, engaging young people to to the community. So, uh, but for uh, indigenous activists, a lot of them are, are very young and uh, they are interested because they, most of them not take out. So they can uh, start to at least know, uh, know there's a software called LibreOffice and the community of LibreOffice is, is willing to, uh, to make this possible. And uh, so we can probably get more users and more promoters of the software. And uh, also the government, because uh, since this would be the best software to type uh, in, in indigenous language. So when they are making uh, documents in these languages, they are more willing to use this. And uh, now we talk about the current status of the project. Uh, now we have five coordinators from different indigenous young uh, youth communities, and uh, uh, these five of them, one of them are Xiao Wu. Also, we, uh, they represent the point of view uh, of the indigenous community, and they can ho hopefully fully control the project in the near future. We don't want to, uh, as happy people, we don't want to take over, we don't want to control the project. Uh, it's not my language, it's their language. So, so uh, we should let them, like, uh, they have the voice to, to do whatever, whatever they think is, is the best for the community. Um, also, uh, we just started the globalization process, and uh, uh, we received a lot of kind help from Mark, from Franklin, and uh, and we were uh, still learning the tech, tech, tech stuff, but uh, some of the liberal office community members, they say uh, they are willing to teach uh, indigenous youth about uh, those advanced know-hows. And maybe to you it's not advanced, but to us it's like really, like, we, I don't know how to say it. So, uh, and also some research centers for indigenous studies, mostly at NTU, which is our school. Um, they have shown interest in, in the project because uh, uh, some professors they have, have shown their they have, uh, expressed their really high interest. Also, they can offer support about uh, linguistic 
and can protect the government as a legal entity. This is important because uh, the central government of Taiwan, they made some dictionaries and they collected a lot of the linguistic materials, but uh, when, when we ask, ask them for licenses, they say uh, they, they'd rather give a license to a, a, a real legal entity, like a, a school agency, like an official, official agency. So, so uh, after the collaboration with uh, the university become clear, I think uh, this would be this would go much smoother. So, okay. So now we have some discussions about the future. Keep the microphone with the the upper part. That's okay. It's okay. Then then put the, the, the hand in the lower part. Oh, okay. That's it. Yes. Because the antenna is there. That's why. It's okay. Okay, the following question, a uh, discussion is our um, is, is a is a problem we 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 meet. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the one is who own the dictionary. Um, the language is 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 belong to uh, uh, indigenous no, indigenous people, but the the the, the license is 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 governor because they 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 collect the the language from from our trips. So so the 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 discussion is who who own the the license and who who have to um, decide the language go on. So so it's, it's is in my we 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 make um we we encounter encounter the 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 discussion in in a project yeah and the next one is 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 this um many 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 language in no oh, sorry it, in the past, every trip is in, in, in a nation. So, so nation, so trap with a trap and trap have have a similar culture, but but in in a, in a, in, a, in, a, in now uh, they they become the the. The, the same, the same, the same anything group. So, so in the, in inside, who um, it may it may it may sacrifice some some benefit and to to the to the most people. So, so it's it's a it's hard to um, to to say what who. Who can decide or who who can who can do this? Yeah. And, 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 and the next one is um, very very few people have have um, have have um, see the problem like what what is do. So so we we are thought about the like, empower some. Um, some young people to to see the problem and and maybe join us maybe to to solve this problem. Um, okay. Okay. So let me come to those three uh, problems. So, uh, like uh, Zhao mentioned before, we have many dialects. And uh, we have different tribes, different villages, and let's speak a little bit different. But there's a standard for each uh, each language. So who can decide? Who can uh, who can decide to, to use which dialect to be like the, the standard one, or or to be like uh, the language for this platform? And this is a 
Because problem and the, the other problem is to empower uh, indigenous youth to to, to join join this uh, project. So we hope to build a government structure because this is a complicated issue. It's about uh, ethic. Uh, it's about yeah, ethics. It's about um, different uh, different groups of people. Uh, so. So please help us to uh, find out more about these topics. We will try like on our forums and uh, find everyone else again. And we want to hear from you as as much as possible and know about your thoughts, your ideas about these topics, and not just limited to these topics, about more different uh, different points of view. Because I think most of you. Uh, have heard similar problems in your own country. So, uh, or maybe send us an email because this is just a newborn idea. We want to build this structure. Maybe uh, in the future, uh, people from other countries they can use, they can follow the, the structure, or they can uh, they can take advantage from this. And yeah, and maybe working together is is always good. Yeah. Thank you so much. I don't know if we have time yet. Um, we have two or three minutes, so yeah, any Please questions? Ask any questions.